All right, guys, uh, today's video is going to be on why root your Android device. So I'm gonna kinda go through a bunch of stuff that I've come up with just really quick on telling you why you do it and some of the things that it can do for you. So first I just wanna give you guys a little definition of Android rooting. So Android rooting is a process that allows smartphones and tablets and other devices running Android mobile operating system to obtain privileged, privileged controls known as root access within Android subsystem. Basically, it gives you guys more or less administrative rights to the Android operating system. Right now on a normal phone or device, you pretty much have like a user rights. If you think of it in like terms of Windows, um, it's, it's like I said, the admin or the user. So when you get a phone or tablet, you have, you're running under user rights. When you get root access, you have administrator rights and you can now change everything. Um, about the device. So that's pretty much the kind of a definition of it to get an understanding. So um, let's get into some of the reasons why you'd want to root your Android device. Well, the first reason I come up with is just options, options, options. You have an insane amount of options when you have root access on a device. Um, number two is this. You have the ability with a root application to um, change your performance and your speed of your device. So let me show you just really quick what I'm talking about here. So we have a CPU right here. This is on my Galaxy Nexus, just in case any of you guys are wondering. And you see you have two CPUs, zero and one, and you have a slider over here. I can now max out my processor and make it run full speed all the time if I want to do that. So boom, right there, we're gonna run at full speed with those slide bars, and we're just, this thing's just gonna haul when it's doing any kind of processing. It's gonna kill your battery, but you can do that. You can do that because you have this access. Um, or you can slow it down, so your, your min, here's your min, and then your max, we could put down to 920 megahertz, and now you save battery life. Or you can change your SD card read-write speed decache size. Once you do that, that allows your uh, SD card to read write better and just to perform better when you're accessing it. So I changed that to 2048. First thing I guess that I would tell you guys would be speed and performance. Um, one of the other things that's really really neat is you can get free Wi-Fi hotspot. Now some apps you can get that do not require root access to do that. Most of them do. Um, and instead of paying Verizon, your carrier, to go in and use, uh, let's see if I can show you here, if I can do it here, to use their Wi-Fi hotspot. So you'd go under more, and then right here, tether and portable hotspot. If you, you use Verizon, you have to click that, and then you have to pay a $20 fee or something like that. If you have root access, you can hack the device so that you don't have to pay that fee. You can do it for free. Let's go to another one here. You can install a custom operating system or custom ROM, which is basically what I have right here. This is on the Nexus, and you have, uh, let's see, settings. We'll go to about, about phone, and you can see that this is running 4.2.2, which is Jelly Bean, and it's the newest build, but this is not from Verizon. Verizon didn't give me this operating system. I installed it. Because I have root access, I can do that. Um, let's see what some of the other ones are. Uh, other reason would be, just kind of along the same lines, would just be be able to upgrade to the newest Android operating system without waiting on a carrier to push out an update through an OTA update. So those are definitely some of the awesome features about root access. Um, another one is you can get things like this. You can get a terminal emulator and install this and now you can run commands through terminal just like you could on a Linux uh, computer because it is Android is based on the same stuff, Linux kernels. So you can do that you can run things with root permission. Another one, you can back up your applications. So this is called Titan Backups. This is an application that requires root access or you can come in here and dismiss this. And let's say there's an application on here that you don't want. For example, on stock, anything Verizon, you're gonna have all those Verizon applications. Well, this is not running anything Verizon, I don't think. 
but if you had a Verizon application, you could come into an application like this and delete it. Now it's not using up your resources, your memory, your processor, all that stuff is not using it up. If you don't like the application, get rid of it. You now have permission to do that. Uh, most Verizon apps are, are locked in. You can't uninstall them. So again, this is a, another feature for doing this. Or you can back up your own apps and if you change ROMs you can just restore the app and the data and all your passwords and everything gets restored through an application like this. So very neat uh, features there. Let's show you some more. Here's another application that does some cool things in here. This is called ROM Toolbox and also needs super user like you can see right there. From here you can manage your ROMs you can use a root browser, which I'll show you later. You can run scripts. You can block ads, so your um, things that normally would have ads in them don't have ads in them anymore. So all you know, your games and stuff like that, you can block all that stuff, so it's not there. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Again, we have CPU controls, kernel tweaks, memory management, task manager, SD boost, which I showed you in the other last application. How about this? We can change fonts. You want this like to say the look a little different, the font to change, you can do that. You can change boot animations with this application or other ways too. Change boot applications, you can change themes, you can change status bar icons. So um, all your icons along the top up here, you can change the way they look. This is what they are now, but you can change them and go into Wi-Fi. And you can scroll through pages of different icons. You know, you have one that looks like a B or whatever. Whatever you want for this Wi-Fi icon on the top of your status bar. Just lots and lots and lots of tweaking on this thing that's really neat. Uh, you got theme chooser down there for installing themes. Then you have a file explorer. Now most phones have a file explorer built into them from the carrier or the provider of the phone. Um, but they only let you pretty much look at your SD card and your external SD card. Well, if you have root access like this application has, now I can come up here and you can see on the top where it says SD card. Uh, let's see here. I can go under settings. We'll do it this way because this is what I need to do. Go settings and go down to root settings. All right, now I'm going to give it root permission. All right, and then I'm going to mount it up to root and then I'm going to mount file system. Now I can actually change every single file on my device. And instead of seeing just SD card up here on top, or SD card extension, I can go all the way back to the root of the uh, memory on the device, which is just slash. That's why where they get that root access, because now you have access to these files. Um, and I can edit, edit any. So basically you guys can get into the file system here and you can look at every single file on here. You can change things, you can edit stuff, you can edit your build prop. I mean, just all kinds of crazy settings you can do when you have a file explorer that gets you to the root of the uh, memory. So definitely some excellent things you can do in here. Um, and then last, I guess, but kind of not least here, you can also go into something like Goo Manager and you can install a custom recovery so you can hit this and it'll install a custom recovery into your device once it is installed you can reboot into recovery so let's just do this really quick this will boot us into a recovery system through the recovery system you can do things like flash a rom you can wipe off your data you can uh, make an Android backup image, which is a backup of your entire phone that if something messes it up while you're using this root access and you mess something up too bad, then you can get back into recovery and restore that. So right here is backups. You just swipe across and you can make a backup. Um, or you go to restore and pick a restore point and swipe across and restore it. Go to installs and f uh, flash a ROM, an operating system basically. Um, go to advanced, you can fix permissions, you can use a file manager, you can use terminal commands, you can ADB sideload stuff. I mean, it's just full of options when you have root access on your device. I'm going to reboot this thing back into the system. So that, that's pretty much it, guys. That is all, well, a good portion of the things that you can do when you have root access on your device. Um, really cool. It basically is, like I said, options, 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 customization, 
that is why you root your Android device. Um, hope you guys like this little video. Hope this explains to some of you guys noobs out there why you do this and not necessarily how because every device is a little different. This is just on the, the Galaxy Nexus, but uh, hope you guys liked it. And uh, please uh, check out my website. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe down below. And other than that, we will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.